afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Los Angeles. Vita Blue gets the starting assignment for the Braves. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're going to have to nickname this guy Nada, N-A-D-A, because that's exactly what he's done. He's given up nothing in his last three starts. That's right. Look at that ERA. Last three starts, 0.00. You can't get any better than this guy's been his last three. Acuna is there, and he has it for the first out. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Striding in, Mike Trout having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. And Trout has himself a base hit. That's the game plan right there. Elevate the sinker from the offensive standpoint. That's what they talked about in the hitters meeting. And on the flip side, if the pitcher doesn't get that pitch down, there's going to be a call to the pen short. Good breaking ball, but he missed inside with it. A ball and a strike. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Matt Andres, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's last three starts haven't been that bad, but he's picked up a no decision in all three. I'm sure he'd like to pick up the W in this one here today. He's got it, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Digging in, Ronald Acuna he comes in today, leading the National League in hitting this year. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. Hard hit ball to short. Simmons is there. And quickly, there are two away. Batting third. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Into right field, that's a base hit. The throw into second. And a good job to get to it quickly and get it back in. That'll hold him to a two out single. A little two out lightning right there, the Dan, in the first three. inning. Let's see if the cleanup hitter's got anything in store. Boy, it looked like such an easy and a promising easy inning for the pitcher. Now he has to deal with the Thunder, the cleanup hitter coming up. The 1 0. Hit on the ground to short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Justin Upton is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. And Upton can't connect there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in, the machine, Albert Pujols. One ball, no strikes to count. A ball and a strike. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. All even now, two and two. And another foul ball. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire. 
Now to the play, Ender Inciarte. As he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings in Freddie Freeman. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up one of the all-time shortstops, Omar Vizquel. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Matt Andrees is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and he looks at a ball, 1-2. One well, this is where you have to be really aggressive. 1-2 and two count on an American League pitcher that rarely bats. Go right after him. The pitch. Swinging a soft liner, but an easy play there at first as that becomes the first out of the inning. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Zach Collins comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. And that's the second out. Now batting. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. Stepping in, Joe Torrey, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Trout looks up, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup, so a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. High in the air out to center field. Trout is right there, one down. The left fielder, the Stepping into the box, Kenny. Kenny Lofton. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout is there, two gone. Acuna digs in now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. The number one, second baseman, Ozzie. So up steps Ozzy Albies, and he puts it on the ground to second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. But the Braves are on. First pitch of the at bat on its way. David Fletcher is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Man, if I'm on the mound right now, these guys are swinging at everything. I just want to try and paint the corners. And he fouls this one off. The 1 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. First offering on its way. High chopper over to the right side. 
Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Anthony Rendon will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. And it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Angels go down one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Fred McGriff is set to lead us off in the home the half of the fourth play. inning. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Here it comes. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Trout is there, and he has it for the first out. Now that Here's Ender Inciarte. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's Simmons at short. Reined in. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Ready now. Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release. And it's belted high and deep into right center. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman. Number 43 on the year for him. And it's given Atlanta a 2 to nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number, number, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Braves get a run on the Freeman home run. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Justin Upton. Sinkers in there, no balls and a strike. Upton in a hole, 0 and 2 the count to him. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0 2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. The right field. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a swing and a ball foul tipped right off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. He struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The first baseman, number five. Albert Pujols will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Matt Andrees is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Pulled high in the air out to left field, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that in. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Joe Torrey. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Dives and he 
hangs on for the out. Wow. So the base is empty here with one away. And that will bring up the three-time World Series champ, Vida Blue. Line drive to left. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. He came to play today, not just only on the bump now right back. there. He's thrown right the ball here. well, but on the offensive yeah, side of the ball, he's able to contribute yeah. and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. Stepping in now, Kenny Lofton as he rips it on the ground to second. He's got it. Simmons back to Pujols, not in time, and they can't get him both. No real chance from the roll two that time. He's just too quick coming out of the batter's box. You basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. Lofton leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Now the 2-1. Hit to short. Taken in by Simmons. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Digging in, Zach Collins. They'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Behind 0-2 now. Fouled away. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Here comes another 0-2. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrelton Simmons. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. No balls in one strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. No runs, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. The bouncer to the left side, Vizquel picks it up. On to first, and there are two down. The Digging in once again, David Fletcher. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunk. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that. At the plate, Ozzie Albies. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home six. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting well, just five innings here. Did now pitching for the Angels. Number 51. Jaime Correa. Into the box now. Fred McGriff as he lines it out to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Hey, with that base hit right now, the lead's 3-0. And the way their pitcher's going, D-Row, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an offense, just trying to put those extra runs across the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, towing the slab. He's on fire right now. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. He pulls into third safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. The bat, the 
Boy, this guy's having a great a game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup, and that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bomb, but now he's got three ribbies to do. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. The second home run of the game right there. He is locked in. Late. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Keenan Middleton gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. A less than impressive swing there to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Hit hard on the ground is short. Simmons has it. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Kenny Lofton. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Two-run shot to straightaway center. Number 43 on the year for him as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder. Way back. And that ball is gone. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Row, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter. And so far, that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Line drive to left. Upton will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Popped him up. Simmons is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. Big inning for him, though, as they bat around and score. Bruce Suter is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. First pitch of the at-bat. Mike Trout swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Now here's the pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Anthony Rendon is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. and oh. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Do next is Justin Upton as he gets loose in the on-deck circle. Three and one the count now. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Now the three and two pitch. No runs, two hits, one error for the Angels so far. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Justin Upton stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Grounded foul off to the left near Brian Butterfield in the third-base coaching box. 
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Angels are gone in order. Lead looks insurmountable here. They're down 10 nothing. Noah Ramirez comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. Here comes the first pitch. Line towards center field. Trout is right there, one down. Ready for another Go shot back. now. Freddie the Freeman. Freeman. It was a two-run triple for him in his last debut. Matty, this guy is certainly walking to the plate with confidence. His slugging percentage is going through the roof with a bomb and a triple to boot. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the Go inning. At the plate, Omar Vizquel hit the ball pretty well in his yeah. last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Cue shot here out towards short. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Now batting, Hector. Go! Man, he got the front foot down right there, kept the front shoulder up, and was able to stay inside that ball for a soft liner in the center field. Here's a little chopper up the middle, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. You know, D. Rose, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second, and guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's the splitter there, but it misses one and two. Fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Albert Pujols is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. One strike to Pujols. Whew, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Tommy LaStella will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. hitting for the angel. Number nine, Tommy. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Mm, got him out on his front okay. foot. It's 0-2. And, and it's fouled away. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row in the... Julio Tehran enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Julio Tehran. Oh, 
bottom of inning number eight set to go. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Kenny Lofton. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Now a drive out to left center field. He takes the turn and heads for second. And the Braves have something going right away. It's a leadoff double. <laughs> You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Ronald Acuna is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Hit sharply on the ground. Throws in time, and that's out number one. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Fouled away. Popped him up. Oh, and he misses it. Oh, and they botch this one as it drops in the infield. And he's safe. Now back. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fred McGriff. And their runners at the corners now. He's set. Here it comes. Hit hard towards center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The relay throw on to third, but he's in safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. The right Ender Inciarte. In now, Ender Inciarte. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Catch is made by Upton. Here comes the runner home. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. So coming to the plate, Freddie Freeman is lined so far. Two for four, but the hits are a home run and a triple. Hit hard on the ground to second. Scooped up. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. And now for the Angels, Zach Collins starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And he's going to start this inning out the same way he started the previous two. Seven consecutive strikeouts. My word. One away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, my goodness. Talk about a developing story here. Eight straight strikeouts, and there are two away now. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. At the plate, David Fletcher. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. He brings it in, and the Braves will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. 12-0, the rather convincing shutout final.